Aquava, and welcome to Expat Life Ghana. I'm Ayo, and this is Tony, and we're documenting our move from Texas to Ghana as we go beyond the return. In this video, we're talking about what is Ghana really like? What is Ghana really like? Oh, wow. Let's get this video started. What is Ghana really like? Well, Ghana has a lot to offer for sure. Um, I'm a homebody. Ghana yeah. has nice houses. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I like to be out there and enjoy all that Ghana has to offer. Okay, so tell us, what is Ghana really like? Well, if you're a party guy or gal, um, Ghana's the place to be. <laughs> um, is that what you're doing all the time when you're telling me you're at meetings? No, no, I'm at the meetings and then the party starts. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, if you are into nightlife, um, even daytime parties, um, Ghana's the place to be. Accra is, is just hopping and bopping with nightlife. So is there a better day of the week that's more party time, like Friday and Saturday, or is it any day? Mm, Sunday through Saturday, basically. Sunday through Saturday? Yeah. Uh, that's the whole week. Exactly. <laughs> um, and you even find that like smaller villages like in Abri and uh, Mono Monochrome, places like that over the weekend find uh, people from the city, people who come in from Accra to party because it's less expensive and they go hard there. <laughs> they okay. really do. What time is bar time? What time does the party end? Uh, when the cashier stops making money. There's no set time for the bars to close? I've seen places like six o'clock in the morning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that's and, make that's, sense. and that's here in Tema. I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so Tema nightlife can go like Tim, that. Tema nightlife is pretty nice itself. I mean, I, I you know, I, I heavily promote Tema, so we go hard in Tema. Interesting. Okay, so this happens, and I, you've told me this before about the mm -hmm. nightlife here. Sometimes it's different during different times of the month. Yes. Um, usually the beginning of the month, people have a little more money, a little free with, you know, the cash. So gotcha. at the beginning of the month, things are very uh, happening and around. Uh, so, yeah. End of the month, not so much? Yeah, end of the month, it's you got to go to the big places or go <laughs> to, or, or no, in a month, go to the smaller places. The big places are dried up. You know, uh -huh. they kind of. So you got to go to the smaller places, and that's where you'll find like going to the mountains or going to a smaller city. Uh, you'll find the bigger parties there. Nice, nice. Okay, mm -hmm. so a lot of events happening. The thing that I notice most is that when there are funerals and weddings, yeah, those are like party events events yeah i events. mean and i hate to say funerals but like even funerals are kind of well, party events too know, last year i went to a funeral in kumasi and it was a thursday no it was a wednesday mm -hmm. wednesday so through too. sunday event and it was it was weird because you know being uh welcome to the uh funeral People, it, it was, you had to wear white and black mm -hmm. on Wednesday, uh, black on Thursday, red and black, black, mm -hmm. black then white. <laughs> it was wild. And no, that's just normal. That's it, not. You know, it was like the family day and the reception day, everybody comes in. The next day, I think it was. And there's food some historic. And music oh yeah, there's and, like, there's e events all through the day. Right, and that food and music happening. Food the whole and time. music, yeah, absolutely. And weddings and, are just that, oh, like to the next now, level. Yeah, because the weddings now, the funerals, and, and again, the funerals they usually happen months or even a year later. So these are big events. Now right. the weddings, oh wow! Oh my gosh, you, first you have the. <laughs> the engagement parties you know right. it, there's been then a couple times here on wednesday morning eight o'clock we hear music <laughs> like what is going on we walk out the house and the neighbor has two tents you know across the street and yeah uh, it's just part of celebration of, and, so yeah. and there's a lot of events for celebration like funerals and weddings obviously and the weddings go crazy but holiday times if there are certain holidays during the year that things kind of really ramp up here in ghana including christmas and easter time 
coming yeah. out of Easter, a lot of happenings. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff. There's just, you can find a party if you want a party. Hi, I'm Leo. Subscribe right now. To Ghana, you can come and you can find your history and find the historically correct history. Find out all the truths that, you know, we didn't know. Um, get questions answered, connect with people um, that look like you, that you you can identify with. Um, That's so interesting that you say that because I, I looked at a textbook that talked about the slave trade that was written for Ghanaian students versus, you know, what I know from American textbooks. They don't mm -hmm. even write the history the same. It's kind of interesting to see it from a different perspective. Right. Um, even in the States, you can go on the West Coast and the East Coast. They have different textbooks. Mm -hmm. And the information <laughs> that's given, you know, is is different, very different. So how, how we're portrayed in history in America is different from how the world saw history. So uh, yeah, that's tr very true. You, you, you get to see the, what, how the world saw it our history and I love it here. <laughs> well, so um, part of that experience is definitely going to Elmina and Cape Coast and seeing the slave castles. Um, there are more than just the ones in that area. If mm -hmm. you wanted to see more castles, you're going towards Takarati, you can see that there are different um, slave trade stops and slave trade trading posts that are dotted along the coastline. So it can be a whole tour experience if you want it. Right, yeah. Yeah, and you can also find like the history of dance here, you know, this. All I could see was um, <laughs> outtakes from uh, late night TV shows. For oh like, yeah, but you know, it's like um, when, when you're in the States and you see these dance troops, these African dance troops that, that aren't from Africa, you're like, hmm, that's interesting. You come here and you see how they dance, you're like, wow, that's, that's, not, the that's same. not the same. That's. <laughs> So, you know, you, you get to see the real, you know, here, so. That's cool, that's yeah. cool. So, do you feel like the cultural representation of Africa's, like Africa and Africans in America was accurate when you got here? No, no, not at all, hmm. not at all. Yeah. There's another thing about the lifestyle here that you should know about, and that is that the pace is slow. Yeah, very slow. <laughs> Slow, so so. Yeah, slow. don't be in a hurry to get anything done here. Um, the only thing that's not slow is driving. Yes, <laughs> especially at the roundabouts. They wow, woo! Yeah. The roundabouts they don't joke around. You got to be like snappity snap at the roundabout. So, yeah. I mean, that's a whole different like the lifestyle of just driving. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that is completely different as yeah. well. Uh, but. In general, things are much slower here, and yeah, service is much. Service slower is here. very slow. You even ordering food, things like that. Yeah, there's no in and out in thirty minutes. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, not gonna happen. No. What else about the lifestyle? Football is king here. When I say football, I mean international football. Uh, soccer, soccer. <laughs> uh, uh, watching matches and screaming and honking. You know, I was in a KFC and. Uh, it was the second game of Nigeria and Ghana. Don't and, tell people you were in KFC. Oh, sorry. I was in a chicken joint. And um, it was the game of the last second game of Ghana and Nigeria. And some guy came in and was like, Ghana score, Ghana score. And it just <laughs> all throughout the restaurant, it just rippled through. Ghana score. And everybody, like, hey. And I then mean, you can hear it when you You can hear the horns, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, uh. Like, oh, so, so football is king here, and I love it. Everybody gets into it. It's a cultural event. Yeah, it's really funny when, mm -hmm. when we're not watching the game we, and all we can hear, we, we know what the score is, basically. Oh, we yeah. know how many, how many, how many goals. Times, how many goals are scored, right. <laughs> because the neighborhoods go wild when, yeah. when something happens. So that, that's totally true. Yeah. Drop a comment below and let us know what you think. So what's going to really like in one other important way? Ooh, something you should really, really take note on. Ghana's shady. It really oh, is. Oh, you are going to get it in the comments. I know, hey. You hey. are going to get it in no, the I'm comments. No, I'm yes, not. Yes, you are. My dot hire is going to be like, Tony, we know exactly what you mean. Thank you for telling the truth, which I always do. You still don't get it. So, I've, I've been told from a very, very reputable source, don't trust anyone. 
He said, he's like, hey, don't trust me. Don't, I don't trust my <laughs> wife, my kids. I don't trust them. If my mama was alive, God bless her soul. I wouldn't trust her. He really and this said guy that was too. like 80 years old. So he really did say that. Yeah, he, that is funny. <laughs> so, you know, I, I trust people as far as I can see them. And even that I, might be a little too Yeah, funny. yeah. And, you know, I limit who I trust and what I trust them with. Yeah, I, I, I get that. I get that. And I, a little bit of me feels like the politicians here are a little shady. I know Tony does not like to talk politics because he politics doesn't want to get um, ejected from the country. But we were driving through um, a neighborhood not that long ago past one of the politicians' homes, and it was like 30-something bedrooms. It, it was ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah. There was no way, way that you know, I maybe maybe there's some pocket lining happening here. I don't know about that, but I do know that a lot happens for you when you become a politician. I, we see it in our neighborhoods that uh, MPs come in and you know all of a sudden the roads are getting done in front of their house, so it's like, oh wow. <laughs> You know, we, we've, been, we, we've been here for two years and after, we've been driving on a bad road. And now a big man comes and oh. like, oh, the road gets done. So we appreciate you moving road. into the not, neighborhood. Not the whole neighborhood, just right. his road. So we appreciate that. But, you know, what about the rest of the neighborhood? Mm. Uh, um, there's another important thing you need to know. Yeah, robberies happen. And, yeah. uh, you know, uh, you can be targeted if you look like you have money, if you look like you're not paying attention to your environment, or if, you know, just an opportunist just happens to cross your path. Completely true. But so, um, um, when when you see a robbery happen, do you, do you call the cops? I don't call the cops. I become the cops. I'm like, hey, I'm going to catch you. Seriously, the neighbors and, were out the other day talking about somebody getting robbed, and it was like... Oh, yeah. Vigilante stuff. Oh, oh, yeah. The last thing you want to do in, in Ghana is to get caught stealing. No. Um, like anything but that. That's like... Two. You you should have called your mom and tell her goodbye because if you get caught, that's it for you. I mean, there's a lot of other shady stuff, but don't get caught stealing. Yeah, don't get caught stealing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, these people sounded like they was chop your head off. So You were out there with them, though. Hey, I was just listening like, oh, my God. <laughs> Like, woo! It was pretty, it was so, pretty intense. <laughs> yes, so robberies do happen. The penalty is very steep. Yeah, I mean, and that's something like, that's the real Ghana. Shoo. That's the real Ghana. Um, another thing, our land issues happen to uh, most, not some, but most. Um, and the best way is to oh, get an attorney. Do your research on the land, get a title research, all that stuff on the land. Um, protect yourself going in because just know you it's a 50-50 chance with land that somebody's trying to scam you. Even people who do it legitimately, like we have well, I have family who's bought land legitimately only to have land yeah. problems later on the road. So right. the real the real facts in Ghana are buying land is can it's, be can be a challenge. Can be a challenge. I'll yeah. say can be a challenge. Can I'll still, be. I'll stay optimistic. On yeah, and we're we're challenged with our land issue right now, so <laughs> totally, we know it can uh. be a challenge. <laughs> so what else? How, how else do you feel like what people need to know about the real Ghana? Um, You're gonna love it. The real Ghana is something very different from anything you've you've put in your mind. Ooh, you, you have to come and experience it for yourself. Don't don't just take our word. Don't just listen to us. Come and experience Ghana. Share Ghana. Yeah. And I feel like when you get here, you're going to love it mm -hmm. or you're going to not love it. Oh, you're not going to love it. Yeah. And that's cool. And you're like, okay, I like it, but it's not for me. Okay, I get it. It's yeah. not for me. And, there's, that's, and cool. that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Come and visit. Hang out. Yeah. Awesome. Just know you got 53 other options outside <laughs> of Ghana here in Africa to um, explore. So if Ghana isn't for you, just you know, check other places out. But Love that. If mm -hmm. Ghana is for you. Yeah. Hopefully you'll check out the services that we have on our um, website, www.expatlifeghana.com. Includes tours, day trips, and airport services. And if you're planning your return, join our closed Facebook group so you can connect with folks 
just like you. It is the only place we put the information for our live in-person events. So definitely join the group if you right, are right. going to be in Ghana or if you're already moved and live in Ghana. Yep. And hey, did you subscribe? Do it now. Join us for our monthly lives here on YouTube the last Friday of every month. Oh my gosh, I love our lives. They're so I much know, fun. I know, they're fun. They're fun. <laughs> hey, and with that, Charlie out for now. So what? <laughs> I don't know about the party. No, you don't know about the party. You, you don't even like to go out just for lunch. <laughs> I'll go, I'll go out for lunch. I don't like to go out for dinner. It takes too long, and then you come back. It's all late. Ah, I know. I went out. We went out for drinks the other day. You had a good time. It was like three drinks. o'clock in the afternoon. You had like a wine <laughs> spritzer or something. I'm like, Leo can have one of those. I know. Sweet. I had to come home and take a nap after that. I was like, <laughs> yeah, she did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Okay, one night we'll go out. And- it's totally alive, not even gonna finish that statement. <laughs> <laughs>